And right on time, just before that Samsung event happens in a couple of hours, I was getting a little bit worried that we hadn't seen enough leaks. Now we have them all. Pretty much everything now from that Samsung event later on today has been leaked by Evan Vlas on Twitter. I don't know how he gets his hands on them, but at this point I reckon if you just called Samsung and was like, oh, can we just have all your promo stuff? they'd still end up giving it to you because this is the biggest leak that Samsung have had in quite a while before one of their events. We've seen everything now. So everything from those Note 20, so the watch and the Fold 2 and all of that stuff. So if you haven't got time to watch that Samsung event that goes out later today, then just watch this video. It'll be four minutes and I'll tell you everything that you need to know that is gonna be in that Samsung event later on today. We'll start with something we don't know a huge amount about really, and that's those new Galaxy Buds Live. They're clearly a huge design change from what we've seen on the previous Galaxy Buds over the past couple of years but that's pretty much all we know until now so the colors of these have leaked on that online promo from Evan Blass so you can see you've got that mystic bronze they come in white and they come in black as well which pretty much confirms the colors we're expected to see on that note which I'll talk about later on in the video like I said we don't know a huge amount about this but we do know that on a single charge it'll get 11 hours of playtime which is pretty nice and then we also know they're gonna have that active noise cancellation as well so that'll be the first time that a pair of Galaxy Buds have had this and we expect these actually to come free with some of the pre-orders for the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra so keep your eye out on that if you're going to pre-order that phone. We've now seen that Tab 7 as well and I'm never a massive fan of Android tablets because they're always just a little bit blah. they don't work massively well and I don't think that the operating system is great but if you have a look at this Tab 7 then you can see that it just looks really nice it looks incredible and if it had better software then I'd be on the way to get one of these but it's just something about those android tablets which never quite live up to the hype that they have there will though be a regular tab 7 and a plus size tab 7 and they'll both come with that snapdragon 865 plus so it looks like they're gonna have 5g on them as well which it might be the first time that a tablet has had 5g on it i'm not sure it's definitely the first time that a samsung tablet has had 5g on it so can you imagine those speeds while you're on the bus oh on the inside of this, you'll choose between six and eight gigabytes of RAM. And then also it'll start at 128 gigabytes of storage. And you can also go for that 256 gigs of storage as well, if that is something that you want on your tab. If you're looking to charge this quickly when you've used it or whatever, then it's got 45 watt charging as well. And I don't think that this tab will be great. I just don't think Samsung tabs are, but I'm happy to be proven wrong. Come on, Samsung, let's make it good. The Galaxy Watch 3 also, that is meant to be announced later on at that Samsung event today. And thanks to Evan Blass on Twitter again, we have seen what this Galaxy Watch 3 will look like. And you know, it's not that different actually to what we've seen already on previous Galaxy Watches. This is more of a, um, a refined Galaxy Watch than anything that's gonna be really exciting. It'll come in that new Mystic Bronze color, which everything across the Galaxy line is gonna end up coming in in this event. But like I said, nothing massively surprising. It's got IP. 68 water resistance and dust resistance and those bezels seem to have got a little bit smaller as well than the previous couple of watches and it's got one gigabyte of ram it'll have that eight gigabytes of internal storage but i don't think anything that exciting is coming with the galaxy watch later on okay though right let's get on to the big one which people are bothered about and that is that note 20 ultra and the regular note 20. the first thing is that those colors are now 100 percent confirmed even if they weren't before they are now and both note phones so the ultra and the regular are going to get that new mystic bronze color but then there's some exclusive colors to each of the phones so first of all on the ultra you have that darker black and that white color and then when you go over to what i'm going to call a note 20 light you've got that really nice green color which i'm surprised they haven't brought over to the ultra because that's probably my favorite looking one it looks really cool and right off the bat we know that these phones have 5g in them and i think now if people are releasing a flagship phone you expect to have 5g so I think from now on that we're just gonna assume that comes as standard. And both of these phones will come with that Snapdragon 865 Plus, which is gonna be found in the new Galaxy Tab as well. And there are a few differences between the Ultra and the regular Note 20, which you kind of come to expect, but one of the big differences is on that screen. So the Ultra is gonna have that 6.9 inch Infinity O dynamic display, which has a resolution of 3200 by 1440. And then it'll have that variable refresh rate of up to 120 Hertz. So it's gonna be so smooth. Although 
Although the regular Note 20 will just have that 6.7 inch display and some sad news that there is no high refresh rate on that Note 20, the regular Note 20. It is just stuck at 60 hertz. In terms of battery on these phones, honestly, there isn't a massive difference. The Ultra has a 4,500 milliamp hour battery while the regular Note 20 just comes in at 4,300 milliamp hours. But honestly, with the Ultra having that high refresh rate, 120 hertz, the battery life on these is gonna be pretty much the same. They both have that S Pen support as well. And then when we're talking price, right, the regular Note 20 is meant to start at 999 with eight gigs of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. And then when you move over to that Ultra, I hope you've got a little bit of money saved because that Ultra is meant to start at 1199 and then going all the way up to 1349. So it is not a cheap phone, but it's gonna give you some of the, the best specs you can get on any sort of phone that at this point has ever been released. So if you're a big fan of the Note, then maybe it's something for you, but I think 1349 is just a little bit too much. Pre-orders though, we are hoping that they will start today just after the event and then fingers crossed that they start shipping next week so we can get our hands on these pretty quickly but one thing that is not going to ship pretty quickly is that Galaxy Fold 2. This is probably the phone that I love more than anything in the world just look at it it looks so good but we're going to have to wait to get our hands on this one even though it's going to be announced today at Samsung's event we're probably not going to be able to get our hands on this until the end of September or the start of October so there's going to be quite a bit of a wait before we can get our hands on it but that gives you time to save up if you thought the Note 20 Ultra was expensive at 1349 then well this one's going to be a little bit more expensive this is going to be looking upwards of two grand for the Galaxy Fold 2 but that might be worth it because there's going to be some big upgrades from what the Fold 1 was, the original Fold from last year. And the first big notable change is on that front display. That front display is jumping up to a 6.2 inch display, which now starts to make it more usable. Last year, it was just a little bit weird, but now that is really good. And then that main display, when you fold that phone out, we are looking at a 7.7 .7 inch, 120 Hertz, AMOLED display. And then another big change that's coming is that notch from that inner display is now gone. We are gonna see a hole punch display, which just makes the screen look so much better. It makes it look edge to edge. And then that hole punch display is gonna be not hiding, but it's gonna be kind of incorporating that 10 megapixel selfie camera. And the battery size of 4,365 milliamp hours, but it will also have reverse wireless charging as well of 15 watts. So that's pretty nice to see. And I'm a little bit unsure on this one. It's either gonna come in eight gigs or 12 gigs of RAM. The Ultra comes with 12 gigs of RAM. So I presume that this one would come with 12 gigs of RAM as well, but maybe that is the one thing you might wanna watch the Samsung event for, but it will come in 250 gigabytes of storage storage, which genuinely, I think that's probably more than enough for any sort of phone. No one's keeping massive 4K files on their phone. So 256 is, is pretty good. And the main rear camera, that's 12 megapixels. And then you've got that ultra wide, which is another 12 megapixels, but you then have that telephoto lens of 64 megapixels. But whatever happens, this phone is gonna take amazing photos. And then when you look at it on that 7.7 .7 inch display, oh, can you imagine how nice they're gonna look? I want one so much. Right, that is everything that we expect to see at the Samsung event later on today. We expect no surprises from Samsung at all because they can't keep anything a surprise, can they? But let me know in the comments, what are you most excited about seeing at that Samsung event later on? A like on this video if you enjoyed it would be ace and also a sub to the channel would be absolutely amazing. Samsung, please don't hate me. This is not my fault, it is yours. You're the one who can't keep any of your secrets kind of secret. Anyway, until next time, see you later.